Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I am Marge, part of the Marge and Greta show. Today we are going to make fish tacos using our Anova Precision Cooker, which I have preheating to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically we pick up our halibut from Costco. Unfortunately, with the price of fish kind of skyrocketing, we have picked up two one pound halibut steaks at the grocery and we are going to get them prepared by seasoning them with some fresh garlic oil, some kosher salt, some chili and lime seasoning, and Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. So in order to prepare the fish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out of their store packaging. I'm going to use my food saver and I'm going to individually wrap each piece of fish in its own bag. We're going to put some oil on each fish, both sides, and then we're gonna season both sides of the fish with our seasonings, which I already have measured out in little bowls so that we don't contaminate the stuff that's kept in the cupboard. So with that, I'm going to move the camera so that you can get a view of how I do this. It is gonna be a little bit loud, so I'm going to put it on a different setting for you so there won't be any sound. You might have some music after we edit this, but you'll get an idea of how the process goes once we have purchased our fish and are preparing it to put it in the Anova Precision Bath. Okay, now that I've prepared my two bags so that I can put the fish inside the bag, we are going to grab a pair of scissors. We are going to open this right on up. And if you heard that buzzing sound, that is the ANOVA has reached its temperature. These are going to cook at 130 degrees Fahrenheit for approximately 45 minutes. So it looks like we have four fillets here. So I'm actually going to season all four of them. However, I am going to have to make two more bags because each fillet gets its own bag. They're not all put in together into the same bag. So first things first, we are going to brush on some olive oil and this may seem like a lot of olive oil to you I have to tell you it kind of just soaks in it's not fatty it's actually just added flavor and for some reason to me it just helps with the cooking process and I should have a brush in here here it is sorry I'm not better prepared So just brush these beautiful fillets. I thought they were two one pound fillets, but it looks like they had to cut them to get them close to two pounds. I wanted two pounds of fish. I feel like a pound of fish is just perfect. I love fish. I love seafood. I love that it's not a lot of calories. So for me, it's one of those things of I am going to indulge. And again, these are going to be tacos. So what may end up happening is we may end up making the fish and then setting aside two of the fillets and having fillets with some vegetables instead of all of it being in tacos. Okay, so this is the chili lime seasoning. This chili lime seasoning just gives it that great citrusy, spicy goodness, which is always perfect with fish. And I will have to add more. It looks like I didn't measure enough, which is okay. 
I'd rather not have enough and just add to my to my dish so that I don't waste. Typically, when you if you don't put it in something else, you may waste, and nobody wants to waste their seasonings. This is the seasoning, the Kinder's buttery seasoning. I'm gonna finish adding a little bit more chili lime to this. We did add kosher salt. I was going to use pink Himalayan salt, but it's just so coarse that I didn't, I didn't wanna take a risk of this being too salty. You never want a salty fish. We're already salty as it is, right? Salty people. All right. And then we're going to add a little bit of this. And we're going to do this on both sides. And then we'll package these up. I hope that everybody's having a great weekend. Hopefully, y'all have some great plans and off to doing something fun, trying to avoid the heat too much. I'm really excited about this mix. One thing that I could have done to save myself a little bit of energy, I suppose, or dishes, was combine the two, but I didn't. I have them separate so I can see how much I'm putting of everything on. And I am gonna rub these in with my spoon here in a moment. And then we're gonna flop these over that's a professional way of saying flip. Turn them over, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So, I do have my handy dandy claws. Oh, before I do that, how about we rub this in a little bit? I'm really excited about these fillets. They are absolutely beautiful. I love the bigger fillets. I love getting the two pound fillet but today we are working with what we have here. So, looks like, whoa, looks like a piece of paper on the backside. It's actually the skin. We're gonna leave that on, but we're still gonna coat that skin. We want all the flavors to be everywhere. So, here we go. Now that we have these flipped over, we are going to baste the backside. Again, we wanna have enough flavor because ultimately this is going to come off of the skin. It's going to be shredded and placed into a taco shell. And in the taco shell, we will add a little tiny bit of cabbage and a cream sauce and some chili. One thing we may have to do tonight is resort to one of our favorite Mexican restaurants that's very nearby and get some guacamole because we have a restaurant in town that makes one of the best, freshest guacamoles that you could ever ask for. And I should be saying guacamole because that's how it's actually pronounced, but I sometimes say it like other people say it and it's not being pronounced correctly. I should say it correctly. So it is guacamole. Okay. Kosher salt. Sometimes think that the salt adds to the cooking of the meat, regardless of what kind of meat you have. Fish is actually considered a, a meat, a type of meat. It is a fish, of course, but it is a meat. It's still a meat. And no, I will not reuse this. It's just getting thrown back in here because I didn't need it. I didn't need so much on my spoon there. Okay. So we have that. All nicely done. I'm very excited about this fish. I can't even tell you. I love all these flavors. Fish is such a healthy, healthy protein. It's 
It's having a little bit of an issue with my lighting and I apologize if the lighting has changed for you. I did have to change my lights, so apologize. So this is the chili seasoning. We just did the lemon or the buttery. I actually could have tried a lemon pepper, but I'm really wanting to get this chili lime seasoning. Okay, and again, this is going to be the skin that will come off. So it's not such a big deal that it's not getting all the love in the world. Alrighty. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this in the sink. While the fish is in the Anova cooker, I will go ahead and wash all my dishes and get the kitchen straightened up. So now we're going to put these in their bags. And again, I'm gonna have to make two more bags, prepare two more bags for this, but that's okay. I probably could have put two in there side by side, but I feel like there's a reason why you only put one piece of protein in each bag. And I just want to make sure that my fish cooks evenly and cooks the way that it's supposed to. And actually, because this is so long. And because this is such small stuff, and when I say stuff, I mean my protein is smaller. Typically, I will cook a bigger steak. If I have four steaks that I'm cooking, I may put them in the actual Anova bath because it's much bigger and it gives it more room. These are smaller, so they'll fit in that bath water. Okay, so I am preparing my two bags so that we can put these other two fillets in the bath water. I did have to change out my pot because I do have more fish than I expected as far as size goes but I don't think that that's going to be problematic for us. One thing that I am noticing is that I don't have to cut such big bags. So I've shrunk my bag down just a tad bit and I'm going to put this little guy in there. What's great about having a pair of tongs is you don't have to worry about touching anything. Keep your hands clean. I do tend to wash my hands more frequently just because I don't want to cross contaminate anything. I know on one of my bags I did get some seasoning on the outside so i will clean that up before i put it in the bath water even though it's not going anywhere i don't want my bath water to have food in it or to be contaminated either even though we still wash out that pot or the the bath that the anova comes with i still like to make sure that everything is kept very clean so one more bag to go we have to seal this one at the bottom and then we'll seal all four bags I will turn the sound off for that process because it is very noisy from my perspective and it's not something that I really care to hear so I am gonna tip the camera down so that you can get a peek at what it looks like to actually prepare the bags for the bath water again I've created the bag so that it has a top and a bottom. This one might be a little bit small for this piece of fish, but we're gonna make it work. And if it doesn't work, it's gonna be thrown out. I probably could have used a different piece of fish in here that would have worked better. And actually it works perfect. It's perfectly fine. Again, seasoning. We will clean all of this up really good before we put it in our bath water. So I am going to tilt the camera down so that you can see what the process looks like just to seal the bags if you don't already have a food saver bag. Um, I don't even know what this, it's called a food saver. I don't know if it has another technical name, but it is the food saver. Okay, so I did find it really hard to try to demo the process of getting the bags prepared in their airtight bags with one hand. So I will take pictures of the different settings on the food saver. This has four settings. It has a dry, 
a moist, a pulse, and a sous vide setting. I put it on sous vide mode, and then I hit the vacuum button, and then it it sucks out all the air, and then it seals the bag. So it's sealed on both ends. I'm not going to have to worry about anything falling out. I am going to wipe these down so that we don't have contaminated water. Again, it's not perfect, but it's definitely better than having things floating around in your water. I do wash my pots and pans after every use, so that's not an issue either. But again, just makes it a little bit. So off to the bath they go. And for these, I'm just gonna place them in the water. could have used the sous vide bath that comes with the Innova Precision Cooker because there are four bags. However, the water is deep enough. All pieces of fish are submerged. I'm trying to make sure that the flow of water is not clogged by my bags. And I'm hoping that you all could hear me okay. I'm gonna get those situated a little bit better and then we'll come back once they come out of the water in about 45 minutes. So we'll be back. Our fish has been in the sous vide bath for 45 minutes. We are going to go ahead and take it out. I'm gonna show you the flakiness of the fish so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our tacos together and we will provide you pictures so that you can see what an amazing meal we have this evening. We're going to put this down. I am going to actually carry this over. The cooker is typically with water in it so I want to make sure that I don't spill water on the floor so we're going to put it over the sink so that it can drain out and I washed the scissors earlier as I said while things were cooking I was cleaning up so that we would have a clean kitchen and be able to just kind of keep on going There is the fish that is cooked. I'm really excited about this. I will get a plate. And again, I'm only going to open up two of the four bags. That way, if we decide that we're just going to have fish tacos utilizing two of our steaks, we'll have two steaks left over and we can have vegetables and maybe some fish so again this is a perfect little leftover if we opt to do so oh this is so perfectly flaky look at that it's just coming right apart in the bag and it's not falling apart per se but it's it's really nice so get that there So excited about this. This fish is so perfectly cooked. The great thing about the Anova Precision Cooker is everything cooks perfectly even. Now, when you're cooking red meat or even with this we could throw it on the grill for a couple seconds or just a minute just to get those grill marks but i think with all the seasoning it looks really pretty so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i shred it up and we'll get it ready for the tacos okay we're gonna shred look at how nice that just flakes just perfect and this will go inside of our corn tortilla shells we have some cabbage 
we have some salsa that we cheated and went to one of our favorite stores in town and got ourselves some, I think it's called salsa ranchera, and we did get ourselves some guacamole. So, there you have it. Oh my gosh, it's so fantastic. Okay, so in typical Hispanic fashion, we have dessert this evening. Gretchen was in charge of dessert. <laughs> These are called pan croissants variadas, which is a croissant bread, and it's pan surtido assorted bread. So same thing, only two different tags that mixed the <laughs> Spanish and English. So I'm not quite sure what Gretchen's dessert is it's got but it, cream in there it looks kind of like a cannoli mine is what they call a concha so a concho and it's not super sweet but it's very flavorful and i'm really excited about it so cheers <laughs>